As of November 2015, the Episcopal Church is going to have a new presiding bishop. His name is um, Michael Curry. He's been the longtime bishop of North Carolina. And this past summer at General Convention, he was elected on the first ballot as presiding bishop, something that had never happened before. So it's historic in many ways, but uh, he was the clear favorite and the clear choice of the church. He's considered by many, if not everyone, to be one of the best, if not the best preacher in the Episcopal Church by a mile. I think he's the best uh, by, by, by a long way. Three years ago, he at the last general convention, he preached a sermon entitled Crazy Christians. Um, it went viral on YouTube as of today. It's got 25,000 views. Think about the last time uh, an Episcopal uh, sermon got 25,000 views on YouTube. I, I think it's a first. Uh, it also became the title of his book, Crazy Christians, which is a collection of uh, his sermons in written form. And it's actually the first chapter of this book. In this sermon, he argues that the ideals of Jesus are absolutely crazy. Uh, loving your neighbor, praying for your enemies, um, declaring that those who are who hunger and thirst, those who are persecuted are blessed. Crazy. Totally, totally nuts. And it's the way of Jesus. Of course, he then identifies some followers of Jesus as also being crazy. He uh, talks about Mary Magdalene in this sermon and how she was present at Jesus's crucifixion. The other disciples were nowhere to be found. They knew it would be crazy to hang out there with the other Roman soldiers who were crucifying people and to be identified with him. Peter was absent. James and John were absent. Andrew was absent. Mary Magdalene was present and accounted for because her faith made her a little crazy. He then goes on to talk about a, a more modern figure, Harriet Beecher Stowe, who he identifies as this nice little lady who would sit on her porch and, and knit while she was harboring slaves in her basement. And when she would go off to her prayer meetings, um, the slaves would slip north. And she did this not just to be a nice person, but she did it because her faith convicted her that this is something that, that setting people free is something that a follower of Jesus does, even though it can be a little crazy. And of course, after declaring Jesus as crazy and his followers as crazy, he then says, well, then shouldn't we be? A little crazy. Uh, couldn't, shouldn't we be crazy when it comes to making peace? Shouldn't we be crazy when it comes to forgiveness? Crazy when it comes to setting people free? Crazy when it comes to battling hunger and poverty? I highly recommend this book to you and the first chapter especially of this book. I highly recommend that you become one of those 25,000 people who uh, watch this video. It's only 18 minutes long, so it is one of his shorter sermons. So I uh, commend that to you, and I especially invite you to take some time after perhaps reading the sermon or listening to it and chewing on who you know and who do you, who have you known, who have so embodied the ideals and character of Jesus that they're just a little crazy. Uh, by the way, I do think I do get a little chuckle out of this because you turn on the the news and there are a lot of Christians out there who we could call crazy, but it's not that it's not that kind of crazy we're talking about. It's not just like off the deep end. It's off the deep end for Jesus. It's off the deep end because you're living the life and the ideals that Jesus led. And so who do you know that has done that? And of course, how can we then be a part of that number and live a life of faith that is crazy for Jesus and for the world?